Hey, Hickok 45, got the old Sharps, the uh, Lyman, model of uh, 1878. And we are going to shoot it some more, 4570. Reproduction of the 1877 Sharps rifle. It uh, designed for long range, even if I'm not. <laughs> so we're, we've raised the rear sight uh, pretty high there. And uh, we're going to try some shots out to 250 yards. We've got a, a guy riding his horse out that way right now with a bucket. He's going to drop it out there in the road. We're going to take some shots at it, okay? Actually, we're going to take some shots, excuse me, at the wall we started shooting at with an AK. Hopefully you saw that. Well, it needs a little more attention, and many of you have requested we get out the sharps again. That's what we're going to do. Well, rather than go through a lot of cleaning between shots and things, uh, we're not going to shoot all black powder. We might try a couple of black powder loads, but we're going to start out with the old 405 grain hard cast lead bullets. Okay, so let's proceed to give that wall over there a little more grief. Got my cross sticks here I used back in 1869 when I was hunting buffalo and uh, Back then I had an 1874 Sharps. Nobody else had one but me for some reason. All right, okay, let's see if we can get close. We're about 250 yards here where we're sitting. All right, I love the sound of that thing. Let's try it again. I saw that one throw some cinder block dust. That's what I want to see. Now let's pretend it's a buffalo over there. <laughs> I think I hit it again. Nice. You know, these rifles would be great for long range, wouldn't they? I really could leave it up here. Do some speed loading, I guess, couldn't I? All right. As long as I see cinder block dust, I know I'm in the neighborhood. Oh, this is a nice rifle. I love this thing. Right. No semi-automatic fire, but it's fun. 400 grains. Some of you who are good at math, you could keep track of how many grains of lead we're slinging over there. How many pounds? 7,000 grains to a pound. <laughs> all right. I could do this all day. I hope you guys aren't in a hurry. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like Matthew Quigley. Ooh, that one might have gone over. I don't want to hit it every time. Might make some of you feel bad, right? I don't want to make it look like I'm a good shot. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the right side, maybe, see if we can hit it. Ah, it's all dust. I'll take a hit anywhere, though. Big old torpedo in there. Sweet. I imagine they're going right through it. We may not knock it down, but uh, we're going to give it some more grief. This is too much fun. Oh, 
Oh, that went right over it, I think. I saw it. I saw it hit something. All right. <laughs> More cinder dust. Cool. Cool. This is a 30 inch barrel, by the way. Hopefully, you saw the first uh, video we did on this rifle. The reproduction by Petter Soli of the uh, 1877 Sharps rifle. I think we're uh, going over it there if we're not careful. They might be getting a little bit lower. We chew it up here. All right, take my time. Don't have as tall a target there, a part of it. <sighs> yeah, all right. Oops, don't want to cock it all the way. Half cock. There we go. <laughs> nice. This is the way to spend an afternoon, a pretty sunny afternoon. All right. When I was buffalo hunting, after I did the shooting, I had all that skinning to do. At least with this, I don't have that. All right. I saw that. Cool. As long as I see cinder block dust, I'm happy. I am going to try for that right side, though. Oh. This will really test the windage on my sights. Calm down. Oh, just missed it. Better keep it down. Sling a lot of lead. Hope somebody's doing the math now. How many pounds of lead we send over there? Need to get the semi-automatic version next time. Okay, we'll throw a few more. We don't want to sling lead all night. Ooh. That's all dust. <laughs> I got to hit where I want it. That's all. Okay. Couple more. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice.
I think my next sharp will be a semi-automatic version though. All right. Love that dust. Love that dust. All right, I believe that's one area I was trying to pop. Okay. It might take too long to actually take it all down. I don't want y'all to miss supper. Uh, I may have to let y'all go ahead while I keep shooting. I don't know. We'll see here. Quit on a miss, got a hit. I believe that one went just over it. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm gonna try now? Let's try a black powder round, one of these 500 grainers. I think we have to hold up a little higher with it. All right, it's going to be smoky. <laughs> nice. Try another one if I can get it in the chamber. There we go. <laughs> Lots of nice smoke. I love it. We might shoot a couple until it gets, there we go. Ah, that was low, but boy, it made a splash. <laughs> now this is more like what it was like buffalo hunting. There we go. This really takes me back to the old days. All right, let's get it up. <laughs> well, we got to fire a couple more of those. I'm sorry if I'm keeping you late for dinner. Ooh, sounded like it hit hard. I don't know. Uh, I hope you're still doing the math. These are 500 grains now. These black powder rounds. So whoever's responsible for the math here, keep it up. Yep, that's what happened. We get a little dirty. All right. Could be the last round. I'm going to go back to the left side over there. Uh, try not to shoot over it. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, man. Well, oh, as much as I hate to quit, that's probably enough, you think? Okay. Got uh, a little bow stall down the chamber so we don't get uh, hard, crusty black powder setting up in there. That old black powder around. <laughs> oh man, that is cool. Well, I'll tell you what, we, uh, we do need to go over and check it out and see what kind of damage was done, don't we, from all that lead. And one of you did the calculations, you know, how many ounces, how many pounds that we actually fired. Because you know when I switched to black powder. So let's do the math. 405 grains and then... 500 grain okay so let's go over there and see what kind of damage we did so here's the damage it's been a long laborious hunt but uh the old sharps did the job it made the kill it finished it off the ak uh pretty much started it and uh, the sharps finished it and we're we're pleased so nothing like 400 500 grain slugs flying at 250 yards 
landing on cinder. Uh, that's uh, that's good stuff. I enjoy that. So you can see the damage. I don't think uh, well we make use out of some of that, but uh, that's enough. We'll consider that a a real kill and uh, let it go with that. So good old Sharps 4570. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rifle. Don't fall down, John. Uh, this was fun. I mean, if, if you were here, you would you would uh, you would say this is a perfect day. The temperature is about 70, sunny, not very breezy, and uh, I'm shooting a Sharps rifle in 4570 across the hill. Doesn't get a lot better than that. Life is really good.